whenever I see a child that is highly addicted to an iPad, I always look at the back of their head. And nine times out of ten, it is flat as a board. The parents never tried from the beginning. They left the baby in the crib or in the baby carrier in the bassinet for a year straight. If media addiction is mushifying our adult brains, what do you think it's doing to children? To start with, the outermost layer of our brain is called the cortex. It's thicker in humans. It's part of what makes us uniquely human, allowing relatively important things like conscious thought, memory, reasoning, and perception. There is now evidence to show that children with excessive screen time can actually develop thinner cerebral cortexes and have higher levels of anxiety, depression, lower academic performance, and increased risks of obesity. But how much is too much? Well, the World Health Organization recommends zero screen time under two unless it's video calls with family or friends, one hour of screen time max between two and four, and no more than two hours for children that are school-aged or teenagers. Do you follow that?